In Niagara, students at an elementary school in St. Catharines were learning about black history today through fashion. As Sean Cowan tells us, a teacher says the event is focused on bringing people together. Um, being a part of a fashion show when I was in university and what a fun experience that was and I found that that would be amazing for our black community here and to sh not only showcase our black population at our school but to also embrace and spread black joy in this uh, community here. As part of Black History Month, the students at Jeanne Sauvé Public School in St. Catharines showcased black fashions from the past, present and future. Everyone's welcome here and there's room for everyone here. So that's what we're really excited about here. Yeah, there's a lot of change, different, basically just different in styles and stuff, and what clothing look like, looks like. The past portion of the fashion show paid tribute to black Canadians, while the present portion showcased some local black owned businesses and entrepreneurs. Uh, we have some streetwear, we have some traditional clothing, and we also have a part of the fashion show where you get to pick what you wear to kind of sh showcase what you like and who you are. The final section of the show was called the future. Yeah, so the future aspect of the show will be uh, more so focused on unity, unity, a uh, future that we want to see, uh, a, um, a future that includes black leaders, um, a future that includes unity between uh, marginalized communities and as well as non-marginalized communities. That aspect of unity and bringing up and togetherness. Almost a hundred students took part in the fashion show and the rest of the school watched. Well, I definitely want um, the audience to leave um, with joy, with, uh, jo with just absolute joy because the black community can provide a lot and, and has provided a lot for um, just the community at large. And as you can see, a lot of excitement there in St. Catharines today for those students. And today's fashion show was for the students. They're going to have another one on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. That one will be for the public. And they are expecting around 500 people to attend.